Jeff Sessions' hearing for the position of Attorney General uh, continued yesterday, and he was asked a question about his extreme stance on marijuana. Would you use our federal resources to investigate and prosecute sick people who are using marijuana in accordance with their state laws, even though it might violate federal law? Well, I won't commit to never enforcing federal law, Senator Leahy, but uh, absolutely it's a um, um, problem of resources for the federal government. The Department of Justice under Lynch and Holder uh, set forth some policies that they thought were appropriate to define what cases should be prosecuted uh, in states that have legalized, at least in some fashion, some parts of uh Do you agree marijuana. with those guidelines? Uh, I think some of them are, are truly valuable in evaluating cases, but fundamentally, uh, the criticism I think that was legitimate is that they may not have been followed. I only using add, yeah. good judgment about how to handle these cases will be a responsibility of mine. I know it won't be an easy decision, but I will try to do my duty in a fair and just yeah. way. The only reason I mention it, you've been in some very strong views. You even mandated the death penalty for anyone convicted of a second drug trafficking offense, including marijuana, even though uh, mandatory death penalties are, of course, unconstitutional. Good googly moogly. <laughs> what? I didn't know that last one. I did know that Jeff Sessions said, um, quote, good people don't smoke marijuana. And he also uh, made a joke that I used to like the KKK until I found out some of them smoke weed. That's one of those jokes where you go, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Okay, so his answer is a really bad answer because I want to give you his first line. He was asked, hey, look, you know, with the states that are legalizing marijuana, what's the deal, son? What are you going to do? I mean, you are going to be the attorney general. You could prosecute them because federal law overrides state law and federal laws that marijuana is illegal. The state laws, if the people are in compliance with the state laws, will you do it? And he said, quote, I won't commit to never enforcing federal law. That's not what he asked you. He didn't ask you, hey, will you ever, uh, you know, enforce federal law? <laughs> he asked you in this specific instance, on this specific issue, when it comes to marijuana and when at the state level, you have individuals who are abiding 100% by state law on marijuana in states where it happens to be legal, would you go after them? Here's the only answer that's acceptable to that. No, I will not. No, I will not. He didn't give that answer. He didn't give that answer because he doesn't believe that. <laughs> he didn't give that answer because he really despises marijuana. He really despises drugs. He thinks they're all bad. He thinks you're a bad person if you use those substances. And he would have the authority to shut it all down like that. Again, this is what people don't understand about the way our government works and the way our system functions. You have a false sense of security right now about the, the recent uh, gains on the issue of marijuana. Because just because the states legalize it doesn't mean the federal government can't shut it down. The supremacy clause of the Constitution means federal law overrides state law. So if, if an asshole government wanted to, on day one, they could shut it all down. And this is why you needed Obama and you need the Democrats to take it off Schedule 1, why you needed them to attempt to legalize it at a federal level or at least decriminalize it, um, but it wasn't done. So as a result, now we're at the whims of uh, Donald Trump and Jeff Sessions. To be fair on this issue, I, I uh, would defer to Trump's judgment a lot more than Jeff Sessions because Trump, for all of his flaws, is not massively socially conservative. There's people who are way more socially conservative than him. Than him. Like on gay marriage, he says, I don't care, it's settled. Um, on marijuana, I don't know his exact uh, take on it, but I would imagine it's better than Jeff Sessions. <laughs> So you're really kind of almost relying on the President Trump to say, eh, Jeff, let him, let him go. Let him go. So that's not a good answer. Anything short of no is uh, Jeff Sessions doing a tap dance to leave himself the leeway to go ahead and try that. 
to shut down and it not only recreational marijuana they could shut down medical marijuana if they so choose medical so this is terrible and this is why you can't have this guy as a uh, as attorney general if i was the democrats they say they can't obstruct him um i would make up a way to obstruct him <laughs> i would do a thing that's not a thing i would do a hearing filibuster I would, when it comes, it's my turn to ask questions, I would start asking him questions, and I wouldn't stop. And then when he stopped answering my questions, and when the chair committee kept asking me to yield, I'd say, I'm not going to yield my time. I'm, I'm going to keep going. You're over time. I don't care if I'm over time. I'm going to keep going. You want to stop me? Go ahead. Drag me out of here in cuffs. Drag me out of here. I don't care. I don't care. This guy's not going to become attorney general. And I would go through his entire abysmal record. I would give you his entire voting record as we did on the show the other day in a long segment. I would tell you everything he's wrong on, everything he's bad on, everything he doesn't care about the will of the American people on, every time he didn't care about uh, law and order as he claims to. And let's also, the final point I'll make on this real fast is, you do understand the hypocrisy of this too, right? Because the Republicans, especially guys like Jeff Sessions, their number one thing that they claim is states' rights. So in other words, get that damn federal government out of here. All we care about is the state. The state's who we have authority to. This is, we have federalism in this country. That means that the state, we care more about what the state says than what the feds say. The fed, we don't need no damn Washington telling us stuff. So they believe in states over the federal government. Unless, unless, on the specific political issue, the federal government happens to be more correct in their opinion. So the federal government, Jeff Sessions thinks, is more right on the issue of marijuana because it's still illegal. And then California, where it's legal, or Colorado, where it's legal. So, I believe in states' rights, except when I don't. Except when it's convenient for me to believe in the federal government over the state. So, massive hypocrisy, too, because that's what the conservatives Republicans say all the time. Uh, you know, 10th Amendment, 10th Amendment, states' rights, states' rights. Oh, shit, it's inconvenient now, so forget states' rights. So, that's Jeff Sessions in a nutshell for you.